So, your video is edited and your animation is ready. You're about to start the sound design process. Of course, you know good sound design boosts your video, but how do you design the sounds for your video in the best way? Hi, I'm Jente Gater from Voicebooking, and in this video, I will give you five tips to make your project sound amazing. Amazing! Amazing! Tip number one be creative. Yeah, of course, be creative, that's pretty logical. But on the other hand, I really like to mention it. Because when it comes to sound design, many producers only think about adding sound effects to the video or adding music. But did you know you can also create great things with only equalizing? For example, this video fragment of a person who walks to a festival. The closer he gets to the gates, the louder and clearer the festival sounds become. As you know, if you are far away from a sound, there's the wind and so, which make the sounds a little bit blurry. And that's what you can show by doing equalizing. Another tip when it comes to creativity is try to think of different solutions for sounds. Don't use that swoosh whenever there's a movement, but try to use sounds that fits the subject. For instance, when the video is about coffee, create swooshes and pop-up sounds out of coffee sounds, like pouring or like grinding or making coffee. Tip number two, timing. As you may know, timing is very important in sound design. If you place a swoosh a little too late or just too early, it doesn't feel right. And then it does not strengthen the video or animation. In those cases, you really need to focus on a micro level. So if you want real precision, export the video from the video software, import it into, for example, Pro Tools, and do the audio mixing there. So always stay sharp, every split second counts. Okay, next tip, don't be boring. To stick to that swoosh example, if you swoosh, every time with the same swoosh, it gets a bit boring. Use different swooshes or pitch the swooshes higher or lower. Or to get back to my first tip, be creative and use the sound effects that suits the subject. Like that coffee example. Okay, tip number four, fit to the mood and the subject. A sound fitting the subject, okay, we already mentioned that, but what I didn't say is that the sounds you choose need to suit the mood of your video. For example, a really boring subject for a university or so. If you use those, those great Hollywood swooshes, then it's a bit strange. You overact the cake. It's a bit the same with a podcasting. Sometimes you hear a jingles for podcasting where you know I'm going to listen to a really serious business to business like podcast, but the jingle is like you're listening to to the number one radio station, which is which is only playing hits and hits and hits. It's too much. You're over the cake. So be gentle. Good, then we come to my last tip, number five. Take a break. Take a break? Yeah, really. Read a good magazine, play FIFA 23, take a coffee. Anything to get that project out of your head. A few moments later. <sighs> yeah. Then a few hours later, or a day later, or whenever when, sit down, watch the video, and look at the video with fresh eyes, as if you were the viewer of the video. And this is that moment where you turn your sound design into something beautiful. Maybe you will find something really special, or you think, hey, something is, is too much, or too loud, or too soft. Skip some sound effects, or if you miss some, add them. And in fact, sound design can be like writing. It's often a matter of kill your darlings, deleting things. So there you have it, five tips. Um, I'm missing the bonus tip. There's a bonus tip. Of course, we're missing something. We're missing music. Do you remember the time in uh, back in uh, 2000, what was it, 2011 or something? Almost every explainer videos did work with a banjo. Oh my god, every ID, every video has its own human identity. And try to find the music which fits that human identity. Don't think, okay, here's the music, let's put it under the video and we're done. No, 
There's an intro, there's the part where there's interest, there's, there's the part where there's desire. So that AIDA model, awareness, interest, desire, action, it's also in your music and try to edit a piece of music which fits to the model. And then, then there's something really magical happening. And these were my tips about creating the sound design. There's also a video about mixing the sound design and I will add a link to that video in the comments. I hope you liked the video, give it a like, subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.